That's enough, huh? Please. So, Herbert, how do you feel? Rotten. I'm not surprised after having had your stomach pumped. Yeah, I'll have the uh, lab analyze the results right away. What in the hell happened to me, anyway? Well, you collapsed in the living room just before we were going into dinner. Am I, am I okay now? You're in stable condition. Uh, well, what, what caused it? That's what Dr. Wallace and I are trying to figure out. Your blood pressure was very low. Is there anything in his medical history that would cause something like this? Not as far as I know. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's never happened before. Oh, could this have anything to do with the brain tumor? I shouldn't think so. No. There's going to be some explanation for it. No. Herbert, did you have any particularly bad news before you collapsed? No, no, nothing like that. And it must have been something that you ate that didn't agree with you. But what? Well, that's what I'll find out. You'd be surprised what we can learn from the contents of your stomach there. Well, I hope Edward learned his lesson. Next time he gives a cocktail party, I hope he can refrain from cutting corners. Serving bad food is not the way to discourage his guests from eating. Herbert, that is not only unfair of you, it's unkind. My father is very concerned about your welfare. Yes, of course he's concerned. He's concerned I'm going to stick him with a hospital bill. He has already phoned from the house to find out how you're doing. And he'd be here in person if he wasn't looking after my mother. No, Alan, I'm not seriously saying that your father tried to poison me. He wouldn't do that. Unless there was money in it. <laughs> we need the lab results as soon as possible. All right. You know, there's one thing you should keep in mind, though. If uh, the food at the party was bad, how come uh, none of the other guests got sick? I don't know. Maybe Herbert has a particularly sensitive system. I... What are you two sure mumbling about over there? Nothing. Nothing. Can I get you anything, Herbert? Yes. Where's Autumn? Hey, thank God, we were so worried about... Oh, Father, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, don't, don't cluck, please. Don't cluck. Don't you think you've been here long enough? Oh, I don't know. It's just starting to get interesting. Herbert needs his rest. Just a couple more questions. I think we can lay this whole thing to rest. Tell me, does your family normally serve guacamole before dinner? Hardly ever. Why? You aware that Mr. Quartermain here isn't allowed any dairy products? Yes, of course I am. Then you tell me. Why was he served a guacamole dip made out of sour cream? Who prepared it? But more importantly, who placed it on the menu to begin with? I did. You? Well, yes. Rosa and I were talking about food the other day, and, uh, and I mentioned the fact that I loved avocados, and she described this dip to me, and, uh, and, uh, and so I had her make some, and, uh, well... She had no idea that I couldn't have sour cream. So this whole thing was just a silly, horrible mistake? See, nobody tried to kill anybody. An unavoidable accident. So it would seem, wouldn't you say? Apparently. 